Day 19 is in the bag. Today's workout is total body chisel. And then also for the first time, we're doing 10 minute ab chisel. So prior to this, we've been doing the 10 minute hammer. Now Autumn gets to hit us on the abs. Um, I just finished both of them. This is actually the second time that I've done the total body chisel, but I couldn't remember what it was about. I guess I must have blacked it out because that workout was really hard. Um, I would recommend, since this is the first time that we're doing this workout, that you use lighter weights. Um, if you need to pause it, pause it because she does move very fast. And after the first round, because I, I didn't realize how many rounds we were doing and how fast we were going. So I was like, oh crap, I picked these heavy weights. Um, I got to stick with them, but you don't have to stick with them. I made myself because I, I know I can do it. But for you, if you have to drop them, and she'll tell you in the workout, drop the weights. It doesn't matter. So just be safe, as always. I know I say this in every video, but safety really is key. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves, and then you can't complete the challenge um, because, you know, you decided to be a hero and try to pick up too much weight. So um, let me know what your favorite or least favorite, hardest move was in this workout. I'll tell you that mine was at the end when she has you stepping up on the bench with the weights on your shoulder and you're kind of coming back and then tapping out. That killed me. It didn't so much kill my legs, which was the intention, but because I had the 15 pound weights sitting on my shoulder, they were uncomfortable, but they were heavy. Like my shoulders were really burning. So it took everything in me to not throw those things down to the side. I kept pushing through it because mentally, I know I can do it. And I just wanted to give you guys a tip because some people will ask me like, how do you stay motivated? You've been doing this for so long. How do you, how do you motivate yourself to keep going? This is something that I do that, that works for me. My predominant side, my, my strongest side is my right side. Whenever we're doing something, I always start it with my left side because my left side is my weak side. So if I'm doing a lunge and I can hold 30 pound weights, you know, coming up on my left side, which is my weak side, then there's no way that I can't not do it on my strong side. So by getting the weak leg out of the way, it sets the tone for me to continue to fight harder because if I can do it on this leg, then I best be sure to do it on this leg. So it doesn't let me give in and quit because if I start with my strong leg and then I'm already tired and I'm like, oh gosh, and then I'm gonna make excuses for myself because well, this isn't this, this side's just weaker, so I'm just gonna baby it. Nope, I always start with the side that is weaker and then I finish up with the strong side. That keeps me motivated. It may not work for you, give it a try, but find something that does. It's, it's all a mental game. This comes down to how bad do you want it? Are you gonna give in to the excuses? Because I have a million of them. I really wanted to drop those weights at the end today. I really, really wanted to, and I almost did. And she actually said, you know, you may think you've done two rounds of this and, and you can, you know, quit. No, you can't. And I was like, ugh, Autumn, dang you. And I kept going, and I'm proud of myself that I did because physically I know that I could, but mentally, my mind was like, nope, you're checked out. So fight that urge to give up early. As long as you are being safe about it, even if you have to drop the weights to finish it, go ahead and do it. Don't let your mind dictate you know, what you can do because your body can last far longer than your mind will let you know. So 10 minute ab chisel, total body chisel. Let me know what you thought, and as again, make that change. Be safe out there.